I love my Raleigh Too Cool One mountain bike, but for 2018, Raleigh's changing their focus just a bit, focusing less on mountain bikes and more on things you would ride around town, commuter, urban street bikes. Will their urban bikes have a street bike class called the Redux series? The Redux caught my eye. And that's because the Redux has this trendy yet old school look about it. it kind of looks like an old school mountain bike. Back when real men rode mountain bikes, they didn't need suspension forks, they just pounded their way through everything they wanted to conquer. And that minimalist look and those blocky colors really set this thing apart. It's a good looking bike. Not only that, but the marketing is great. They call this thing an urban assault bike. How can you not like that? They also mentioned that this thing is designed to weave its way through difficult city streets, jumping over curbs, grates, potholes. That's also a plus, because my city hasn't found a pothole they didn't like. And the feature set on paper looks great, and in person, it looks even better. As a matter of fact, the whole bike looks great. It's just cool looking. It's a hipster delight. And the components perfectly mix mountain bike and street. You get good wide mountain bike handlebars and a forged alloy Raleigh stem that can really take a beating. The Raleigh lock ring mountain bike grips lead up to the Shimano Diore trigger shifter system. You also get hydraulic disc brakes on this bike, complete with alloy brake levers. The Raleigh branding on the head tube is painted, as are all the graphics on the bike. I like it when companies paint on their graphics rather than use stickers. Raleigh's really good about that. The front fork is really an eye catcher. It's bright orange, Beefy, thick, and this thing's made out of aluminum alloy, so it's really lightweight. The rims are also aluminum alloy. These are Weinman U28, 28 millimeter double wall. Sitting on top of the rims are Schwalbe Big Bend tires. These are great tires, and they even have reflectors on the sidewalls to help you stand out at night. You also get Presta valves. The hydraulic disc brakes are Promax Solve 3s. I would have preferred Tektro, but so far these Promax are working very well. The frame is modern but minimalist. Matte gray finish with Raleigh branding on the inside of the down tube. Now it's made of 6061 aluminum alloy, and that makes this bike very lightweight. The entire bike only weighs about 25 pounds. The crank set, it's not a set, it's one gear. Very simple, no front derailleur adjustment to have to worry with. The crank arms, one piece alloy, Raleigh branded, mated to those, well go alloy flat pedals. The chain is a KMC X10. That works its way back to a Shimano rear end. We have 11 speeds and a Shimano Diore rear derailleur taking care of the shifting duties. And shifting is smooth and easy. This thing was a breeze right out of the box. Didn't have to adjust anything. Goes through every gear perfectly. Promax Solve 3 hydraulic disc continues on the rear. Redux 3 painted on graphics on the seat tube lead way to a seat clamp that's got a rubber coating on it. I've never seen this before. Kind of a nice touch. The seat post is a lightweight Raleigh aluminum alloy. And the saddle itself they call this a Raleigh street saddle, but it looks just like the Raleigh mountain bike saddle. Either way, it's gel coated, pretty comfortable, very nice for a factory saddle. All these components work out really well when you're tearing it up in rough urban terrain. In my case, I went to the rough part of town. That's the graffitied alleys. Okay, I'll be honest, it's not really the rough part of town. We don't really have a rough part of town. That's done by artists, and that gives way to cobbled stone streets. But still, it looks like an urban assault bike in an urban area when you're by the graffiti. And that's what counts. But if you bought the bike to ride, it can fill that in too. Not only looks good, it handles well. This thing handles a lot like a Trek FX. The difference is, you can take this bike over a curb and off onto some rough terrain without worry of breaking it. I wouldn't ride a Trek FX down some stairs or across a field. But the case of this bike, it doesn't bat an eye at it. Handles anything you want to throw at it, even getting cool artistic -y shots. The more I ride this bike, the more I like it. Kind of feel like this is the bike I should have bought at the beginning of my commuter journey. It works great as a commuter bike, great as an around town bike, and also great as a riding around campus bike. As a matter of fact, I kind of felt like the king of the campus on this thing. I decided to ride it by the local lion mascots, see what they thought about it. I like it, again. King of the campus, right? Eh, they weren't quite as enthused as I was. 
Lions might not care for it, but trust me, humans really like this bike. No matter where I go on this thing, I get constant comments. People stop me all over the place. My Trek Dual Sport 1, I got stopped twice, and that was by other Trek riders. Even the people at work commented about how well it looked, and they could care less about bikes. I took some passive aggressive shots here going by my local Trek dealer, and that's because I sold my Trek DS1 to replace it with this bike. That's how good I think it is. That's going to be it for this video of the Raleigh Redux 3. Stay tuned because there'll be plenty more to come on this bike. It's going to be my long term bike, so you'll see it a lot. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for more great bike videos. Thank you.